hi and welcome to my youtube channel in today's episode we will see how we can make our confetti burst something like this in the previous episode we made our confetti uh, which was this one so if you haven't watched that episode please uh, go check out that episode first and then we will see that how we can make a bursting confetti so we have already made our confetti that is falling down continuously and we will modify this one to make a bursting confetti so if you want to learn how to make a new confetti then you should check out my tutorial first and then we will make the bursting confetti so moving on to the tutorial let's let me unpack this prefab first okay so this is my old confetti i want it to be bursting so in the last episode uh, we took the shape as box. Now I want the shape to be sphere. That's why it will burst. Okay. And in the sphere, I will keep the radius to be very, very low to the last value. And here, I will keep the size as same. Let me keep it 5, 5, and 5. Now, right now, it's, it, it's emitting. We don't want it to emit, but we want it to burst. So we will keep the rate of time to zero. And here we will click on this plus sign to make it burst. I will keep the value to 1000. And here max particles will be 5000. Uh, now it's exploding in all directions. To make it fall down, we will increase the value of gravity to 0 0.5. Now it's looking good. Move it a little bit up. Let's increase the value a little bit more. That's looking even better. But it's still not good. Because the particles are a little bit too big and we want dynamic particles of all shapes and sizes so let's increase the size a little bit 0 0.1 let's change these values now it's looking better 1.5 would be much better now change the speed First of all, duration should be 10. Also change start lifetime to 10. And speed can be between 0 0.1 to 15. And uh, rotation over lifetime, let's change it to 360. That's even better. If you want, you can also change the colors a little bit. You can see what color suits. I'm not changing them. The confetti is passing from the ground. So let's add uh, this plane to this collider component. So it will not pass from the ground. Now you can see that. And our confetti will burst only once. So we will uncheck looping. And now if you want to see how it looks, click on restart and this is how our confetti looks. This is how our confetti is bursting and falling onto the ground. You can modify these values according to your requirements and I think it looks good. Let me zoom the camera a little bit in to see it more clearly. So this is how we make our bursting confetti. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.